Like go on three. One, two, three. Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Eden Score. If you're not already, make sure you are subscribed so you never miss a video in today's video. We are going to be fixing a very serious problem. So I am currently 17 and I don't have my driver's license yet, okay? I know, like most people get it at 16, but I just, I haven't gotten it yet. And like, I've, I've got my permit and I've been driving more, but like, I just haven't gotten it yet. Soon, it's coming, like very, very soon. But I thought in the meantime, I need to come up with a solution because I can't rely on everyone else to drive me everywhere. It's just not realistic. Like, so I decided that I needed to come up with a way to transport a way to transport around um, around town without a car. So I put a lot of thought into this, and I went I went back to the writing board many times to come up with a solution. The first thing that we need is a lot of duct tape, a lot of duct tape. Yes. Okay. Then the second thing that we need is a penny board. Now, you might be thinking you could just go around on a penny board, right? No, because you might get tired of standing up and it just, it's not realistic to go around on a penny board standing up. It's just not, it's not a good way of transportation. So we needed something to put on top of the penny board so that we could sit down and, you know, get around town in a realistic, comfortable way, so. We are going to be using an inflatable. Oh wait, is that, oh, this way. An inflatable. So basically what this is, is it's just a giant inflatable unicorn. And my thought process is that I'm going to blow it up, then I'm going to duct tape it on the penny board, and then I'll have my new source of transportation. I. Why would you even want a car with this sort of setup? Honestly, like, so, um, it says average, average age four years old, but like, who really follows the recommendation anyway? Not me. So, it says step one, unbox. Okay, so we're gonna take the unicorn out and I, I don't know if this comes with a pump or if you need a pump, but guys, this is 1.5 feet tall. So like, you're basically at the height you would be if you were in a car, just saying. Okay, there's no pump in here, so if I have to blow this all up with my mouth, that's gonna be really unfortunate. Okay, so here is the unicorn. Let's take her out of the bag and let her breathe. <gasps> oh, it's so soft. Oh my gosh, okay, wait. I need a name for her, guys. So comment down below what you think her name should be. What are we naming the new, the new unicorn for the Swagmobile E? Okay, so it says, prepare toy, rest the inflatable on a smooth surface, locate the zipper, and unzip the opening. Well, thank goodness we just conveniently here have this smooth surface. <sighs> okay, now that I'm looking at this, this is so much smaller than I thought. Like, I actually thought it was gonna be like gigantic. Like, I don't even know if I can sit on this. Okay, so place the zipper. I feel like I'm getting ready to like do surgery or something. Okay. Okay, wait, what next? Connect the pump. Locate and open the air valve located on the inner PVC bladder. Inside the zippered area, insert the electric pump. Sold separately! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. I'm just gonna have to blow this up with my mouth. Like, it's gonna take forever, but I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Like, I'm just gonna have to blow this up. All right, let's 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 see how long this takes. Okay, so I have, no, 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 oh, don't. Okay, okay, so I have officially pumped up the unicorn, and guys, I'm not gonna lie, I think I was expecting this unicorn to be a little bigger than it actually is. Like, I saw these in person. I don't know if they had different unicorns or like if they were feeding their unicorns or something, but like, my unicorn is definitely not as big as theirs was. Okay, I went and complained about the unicorn to Tyler. Wait, I need to raise my camera. 
All right, so we're just gonna need to continue and see what happens here. I don't know if this is gonna work or if this isn't. I'm still hoping that it'll work. Okay, so we need to adjust the feet. Okay, I almost, ow, I just poked myself with the unicorn horn. Okay, we're, mm, okay, I don't, I feel like its feet are gonna get like caught in the wheels, but maybe not. So we're just gonna get duct taping and hope for the best here. So my thought is that <laughs> we're just going to go around it a bunch of times with duct tape and hope that our handy dandy friend, the duct tape, the duct tape does a good job. Okay. All right, so now that we have our new car, we're going to test it out. We're just gonna test it out right here on the ground and see how it goes. So I'm just gonna move this table and back the camera up. And we're just gonna, oh my gosh, it's literally so tiny. Like I was literally expecting it to be so much bigger than this. <laughs> wait, my jeans are too tight in my knees. Okay, wait. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, just on my way uh, to get some Starbucks. Oh. They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling and trying to kiss me right in their head. Trying to kiss me right in their head. <laughs> okay, so update the wheel or the tail gets stuck in the wheel and literally throws you off of it. So we need to scooch that back a little. And <laughs> let's see if that helps. Oh, man, I was like, this is so bad. This literally wasn't at all what I was hoping that it would. I was expecting it to literally be like three feet off the ground. But guys, this is 1.5 feet tall. Like, you know, like one of those things at the mall that you can rent with like the animal and then like it, like you sit on it. Like, I was expecting it to be like that. Okay, let's go. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, my bird. Eden, this does not work. <laughs> you have to put one foot on now to keep it. You can never have one foot off the front because you're sitting on the back. It's really a bad like strategy, but. This is the worst means of transportation <laughs> I've ever used. Wow. <laughs> I fell on a rock. Oh, this is not so slow. <laughs> Okay, this is a bad idea. If you couldn't tell, it's now Independence Day. This might become inappropriate if my shorts start lining up. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what was your plan? <laughs> you don't get Starbucks on this. What did you say? I said you go get Starbucks on this. Yeah, no, look how big the box is. 
Yeah. Just put it down by itself. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Eden, three. <laughs> Eden. Three, two, one. <laughs> now do it on the big one. No, that was bloody. Oh God. It's turning. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally just trying to get some good B-roll shots to make like a funny collage, and literally a semi truck came down our alley, like because our office is like kind of like in an industrial area. So change of plans. I'm just gonna bring this home and we're just gonna get some shots in the neighborhood because I am too scared that like I'm they're not gonna see me like I'm so low to the ground so we're just going to our home. <laughs> <laughs>